Hello, it's John here from Alpine Backcountry Rental, Tomamu, Hokkaido, Japan. Now we have quite a few different tech bindings in our rental fleet. And one of the most popular ones that we've got is the G3 Iron. Now this is a very simple binding to set up and it's a binding that we've had in use for quite some years and we've been very happy with it. Now you line the front of the boot up here with the black markers on the front of the toe piece. Push up against those black markers so they're flush. And then with the weight of your toes, you just push the front of the boot down. And now what we have to do is to adjust the rear turret. You can see there's quite a bit of a gap here. And of course, before we make any adjustments, we only use a posi drive, number three posi drive screwdriver for all our binding adjustments. So we start with adjusting the rear turret to the boot length. Now just by eyeballing this gap here, I know I'm pretty close. So I'm gonna lock the binding in. I'm just going to have a look and see how much gap I have there. Now just in here it's just slightly touching and what I want to do is just to take it back a little bit just till I see a little bit of light in there and then take it forward again so that I know the turret is just touching the boot. So we don't want to have a gap but we don't want to have that too tight. So by just taking it back and winding it back in you'll get that very accurately. Now we want to do our two DIN settings. And the screw at the bottom, that's for your lateral release. And the adjustment window for that is there on the left-hand side of the binding. And for the forward release, that's the next screw up. And the adjustment window for that is sitting there on top of the rear turret. Now, in order to go into hiking mode, we do need to take the boot out of the binding, unlike some of our other bindings. Grab yourself a ski pole. Push down the front. And you wiggle forward and you're out of the binding. So what we want to do is put our hand down on the brake plate and rotate the rear turret to two clicks. So one click, two clicks. And then you make sure that brake plate is locked in. Now it can go in either direction, left or right, holding the brake plate down and round to the other side and locking that brake plate in. To go back into ski mode, I like to hold the brake plate down and rotate the turret and you're ready to put the boot back into the binding. So now we're in hike mode with the rear turret. We simply put the boot back in the binding and we're ready to hike. Now the lever here on the front of the toe piece, we have a ski position and a hiking climbing position. So when you're in walk mode or hiking mode, you lock that lever up. And what that does is it ensures that you don't accidentally come out of the binding when, for example, you might be doing a kick, kick turn on a climb. And you press it back down to go into ski mode. Now it's really critical, the safety issue here, it's really critical that you never ski with this lever in the locked position. Because what that'll do is lock out the DIN setting. Uh, and if you do have a bad fall, you could cause yourself an injury because the boot may not pop out of the binding. And now that you're in hiking climbing mode, you can just use your pole to lift up your climbing levers. So one climbing lever, and when it gets steeper, a second climbing lever. This is to take the pressure off your Achilles tendon, off your calf muscles. And by standing over the binding like this, you get better grip with your skins. And there's just one final point I'll make for those of you that are very dexterous. You can actually put this into climbing mode without taking the boot out of the binding, but it does require some practice. So you need to be able to lean back, be quite flexible, and to flick that turret around. Okay, so that's the G3 iron setup. 